Hello, YouTubers. Um, <clears throat> it's November the 5th, so you might hear the odd firework. I just wanted to make a video um, to tell you what I know, stroke believe, stroke know, <laughs> feel, stroke feel, about God, the afterlife, life, okay. I mean, if you think what matters to us, in a sense, if we have a belief system, which maybe is a bad idea, <laughs> to just have ideas. If you have an open, I like to have an open belief system. It's a sort of a belief system, I'm pretty certain about it, but there's details which I'm unsure of and like to ponder on and you, know, you shouldn't make your belief system too strong that if it got that if you were wrong <coughs> you know they would be a disaster and after all what is important is now but as we go through life we must all wonder what's going to happen on the day that you die or moments after you die now I'm <clears throat> I'm pretty you know I am a hundred percent that that I'm not just a biological being and it's just going to be all turned off and that's it um, but I have no absolute proof of that so I can't actually tell you that you know it's something for everyone inside themselves <clears throat> so what I want to suggest to you is this. Now we often talk about heaven and stuff like that, but long ago I discarded the, the, the church version that when we die we go to heaven forever. Because, you know, that would get pretty boring, wouldn't it? Forever, just in one place. And I guess it's from there that I got my ideas that, you know, the universe is sort of created so that we have this life and death so that we feel like it isn't forever we, you know you know you've got to seize the day in a sense haven't you so yeah so but what I don't know is you know if do you die and go to heaven or something for a little while <laughs> a year or two or whatever if, as long as you want and then you choose the next life you know is it like that but I've always kind of felt that it's not going to be like that, you know, that you're going to get somewhere and it's all going to be explained to you. It certainly wouldn't be explained to you in English because I'm sure, you know, English is something we've made up in this world. And um, anyway, so this is my suggestion. So say when you die and then colours intensify when you die that is true so there'll be some sort of brightening but let's say if there's the tunnel theory people say this in the tunnel so what about if you die and you see in this tunnel and then there's a light at the end of it and then you come out and then there's a bloody nurse holding you shoving you over to someone and you're gonna go no! It's like, oh, I've got to go through all of that again. I've got to go through all that learning process again. And I just think, you know, because what you would then get born as would be like your karma for the life you'd led. Instant karma. So, you know. If it is like that, I think it's okay. Actually, I'm okay with that. I think if you if you lit like I'm 36, and I've kind of got to a point. I'm probably, I'm not completely enlightened, but I feel like I'm in, in a position where I've got a good grasp of things and I know what's important and la di da. And it's taken some time to get there, 
and I, you know, I look back in my 20s, absolute fool, look back in my teens, you know, haven't got a clue what's going on. And so, you know, I wouldn't want to do all that again. But by the time I'm 70, 80 years old, hopefully I will then have experienced enough of being enlightened and won't mind so much. And hopefully be born into a more enlightened world and, you know, it won't be so bad then. And I think that's kind of good karma. It's like a guy, a, a maverick star, was saying in a YouTube video, like, how most people are lazy, they can't even be bothered to put a thumbs up on a video or make a comment. And they're just sort of waiting for somebody else to, to sort it all out. <clears throat> You know, and he made a good point that it, it will take us, all of us, to sort it out. And if we kept keep being born back into the same world that we've created, well then that's good karma. I mean, it's, it's karma, isn't it? And that is a universal truth. That we face karma. So I'm all right with that. So the uh, moral of this story is to be good. Oh, by the way... um. Probably the best, well, no, not the best, but one of the proofs that I've had for there being more to it than this world is I, you know, I looked into the abyss. I saw, I saw it. And it, yeah, seriously horrible, scary feeling. Um, and I just knew, you know, that is not... <laughs> And if that if that can happen to you, maybe that is hell and your soul. Maybe if you were that bad, but I don't think you need to. Perhaps you know I sensed it because I needed to be taught that lesson, and perhaps that's you know all anyone would need just to know that's not where they want to go. So you know, people who do bad, you know, it is going to come back on them. And if we all knew that for sure, then the world would be a better place, I think, wouldn't it? So, here's me doing my bit. Maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Bye.